I woke up. It was five o'clock in the morning, still dark, and though I could see a light coming from the other room, I think she couldn't sleep as well. I started thinking about what happened last night. It was awful and sad. I don't know how she can stand that. Her fifth miscarriage in a row. May Allah give her patience. She was squeezing my hand with tears in her eyes. I could feel her despair and how much she wanted to have a baby. It's motherhood. Only a female knows best. It's almost half past nine now. Lights are off. I'm glad she will finally have some rest. It was a rough night for both of us. When she lost her second baby, she suggested that I marry another woman. But I said no. I can't imagine myself with someone else. And my heart only fits for her anyways, my sweet Hajar. I don't know if she will ever understand that it's fine if we have no kids. She assumed that I'm upset about her losing pregnancy every time. It's true, but I don't blame her. I love her. I love her so much. I will never forget how we first met. She was with her family in a shark camp. I was there with my friends, and her mom used to offer us tea every once in a while. I was walking the beach, digging the sand with my toes with every step I make. Enjoying a soft breeze in that hot day. I heard a voice, and it was her calling. Hey, hey you, hey. I turned. She was waving her hand, standing away. I thought maybe she needed help. I went back running. When I got closer, I saw her face. And just stopped and stared. She was talking, but I couldn't hear a thing. It's like I went there for a couple of minutes or something. I asked myself, is she real? <laughs> My guess was right. She asked me if I can help her daddy with some heavy duty. I happily approved with a slight head gesture. I couldn't say anything. Speechless before her. Just speechless. The next day, I saw her again. Playing with her little brother. I noticed her smile and the kindness she had when hugging her little brother. My time is now. I must risk it to get the biscuit. That's why I told myself when I realized that this particular girl is surely the one I want to grow old with. Was it early to tell? I didn't know and I didn't really care. I fell for her at first sight. It's so hard to believe but it was magical. The day after, I decided I should talk to her father. Damn, I was swearing like a pig. Not confused though because I knew what I wanted. But I couldn't help being nervous. Maybe I was afraid of refusal. Hopefully, everything went well. We got engaged. Such a blast. The clock is ticking. I am late for work. I just can't leave without making sure she's going to be okay. I don't mind skipping today. They can't fire me anyways. <laughs> I am the manager. So, my wife is still in bed. How can I make her feel better? Make her breakfast? Bring her flowers maybe? I got an idea. I get her a pet. She told me once about her passion for pets. But her father didn't allow her to have one because her little brother was allergic. I go to a pet store and get a lovely kitten. That's what I do. I should check if she's awake first. I'm going upstairs. The ground feels so cold, even with my sandals on. I can't hear her usual noise when folding the sheets. Something is wrong. I am at her door now. Knocking. No answer. She must be in the bathroom. Haja, are you there? Uh, maybe I should get in? Haja, is that you? What a tragedy. Haj, 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 Haja, wake up. Please wake up. Haja. I woke up. It was 5 o'clock in the morning. What a bad dream. Well, looking at the bright side, I wouldn't miss Fajr prayer at Masjid. I could see a light coming from the other room. I think she couldn't sleep as well. I could imagine how happy she was when she gave birth to a beautiful girl four days ago. She named her Melek. <laughs>